Hello everyone, welcome again. And this tutorial series, I'm going to start a Selenium Web Driver tutorial and uh, with Java. So if you know uh, why we are using the Selenium Web Driver, so for automation purpose we are using uh, this, uh, and we can use the Selenium Web Driver with different different languages like uh, Java, C sharp, uh, Perl, PHP, Python, Ruby, and Angular JS also there are option. So you can use this Selenium web driver uh, to automate in multiple languages it's going to be providing good support uh, in the automation field so i'm going to start the series the complete series from starting to end uh, for the automation or i think i will try to solve a complete live project in front of you in video by video day by day so <clears throat> let's just start how to configure first if you are using, using java technology for automation so you need to configure the Java to your machine. So how to configure the machine? Or for the reference, you can go here and webautomation.com. So it is a one section only. So the Java web automation. Uh, go on the home page. So you can see the little bit description about the Selenium. So you can read it. And there is alternative tools also there like Selenium Web Driver, Catalan Studio also is a good. Uh, UFT, IBM, and TFT. Some of them are open source, and some of them are paid tools. So, Selenium Web Driver also is an open source tool. So, that's why its uh, its uh, demand is very high, and it's easy also. It's uh, dependent. It's uh, developed. We can use it with Java, and Java is you can use very easily. All the packages and methods are already in build. You just need to know how to use this. The, methods so the very first tutorial it is you can see how to install java setup for the eclipse uh, for selenium web drive when you are going to open this link so here is a multiple project uh, tutorials are there you can read one by one jump one by one so <coughs> and this how to install the uh, java so for installing java to your machine you need to serve first the jdk so jdk is java development kit or you can here all the things about the JDK so I'm not going to be in definition and all I'm going to show you the practical work how to uh, configure these things and how to start automation at your machine so if you want to know about the uh, what is JDK and why we use the JDK you can comment to me and maybe I will comment to you the reply or uh, you can read directly from the uh, from here that uh, automation.com I will provide the link in the description box so to download the JDK, here is a link, Oracle Tech Network. So you can download the latest version of JDK from here. Just click on JDK and download the right version and install in your machine. Uh, once when you uh, complete your installation, so you will get the JDK inside your C drive. Uh, just recheck this and C drive inside the programming files folder, inside the Java folder. JDK 1.8 can see here. So this is the path of your bin file. So just you need to copy this path. I'm going to show you the process how to set the global variable in your machine. So you need to do that for the automation. So just right click on the machine and your uh, my computer or this PC if you are using Windows 10, just go on advanced system variable, advanced system setting, go on environment variable, and here you can write this path like you need to copy the path in capitals p a t h and complete control v the complete path and click on ok so when you do that uh, then you can access the java globally in your machine so if you want to see the demo so just open your uh, cmd command from or uh, you can recheck here java path is set or not so just click in java c you can see the message here java c is not recognized as internal version of no. it means path is not set so first you need to set path so i'm going to repeat that same procedure again so right click advanced variable here pnth and copy the path here click on ok so the JDK installation is done. The second step was like set the path. So both steps are done. Now if you are going to run your 
uh, cmd command from and type java c you can see java is java path is set and you can call this java c file from globally from anywhere so <clears throat> two step is done the first one is um, installation of jdk and the second one is how to set the path that uh, the JDK, uh, java c file path of java c file that you are machine globally so you can see the picture also here download and uh, now if we talk about the selenium web driver setup with eclipse if you are using the eclipse for java editor it's a good and really a good version you can use other uh, ide like netbin also uh, uh, eclipse also but i am uh, going to use that uh, sts tool it's also you can say the extended version of eclipse so it's the same to eclipse so just download this uh, Eclipse or STS tool from internet if you go with STS so you can download from here STS tool just enter the STS tool on Google you can see the spring.io uh, website here you can see the windows format you can choose by your operating system uh, which operating system you are going to use like if you are using window like am I using it so select your version like 62 bit or 42 bit just download the zip file and you don't need to do more just when for whenever you've done your downloading just open this folder uh, sts folder and uh, inside this sts folder inside you can see you will get this kind of uh, scs tool and it was a rar file you need to extract this file when you extract this file you will get this folder still wonder inside this sts release you need to run this file but when you run this file you will get the uh, interface like this the welcome page and here i'm also going to uh, set up for automation completely new so now you need to follow the procedure so just right click on this uh, I think in next video we'll see how to start to create a project so in this video the setup is done uh, JDK is done the path is set and uh, the IDE also ready so in the very next video you will see how to create a new project with Eclipse and uh, the other things is like setup for the web drivers so set up web driver and the apis how to set the other things like how to download the chrome web driver and how to uh, configure the complete automation project in your uh, in your machine and uh, if you see i write a lot of articles on the selenium web driver and i'm covering the task one by one like how to the handler how to use the checkbox as input you can read this also and uh, thank you so much for watching if you like please subscribe the channel